At a hospital, the dinner menu consists of four choices of entree, three choices of salad, six choices of beverage, and four choices of dessert. How many different meals can be formed if a patient chooses one item from each category? Okay, so this is a a relatively simple problem compared to other counting problems, but it's still useful to work problems like this because we can still categorize the the exact type of problem we're dealing with. So this is, to to solve this, we're going to use just the pure product rule. So we've got these, let's see, one, two, three, four different events. Okay, and we're going to want to multiply these events. We're going to use the product rule, not the sum rule, because we want to count the number of different ways these events can occur at the same time. So, for example, for any given choice of entree, we want to pause that entree and cycle through all of the possibilities for the other three options mixed together. It's the number of ways that these all can occur at the same time. Okay, and so now the way the product rule works is we take the number of ways that one event can occur. So let's say four, there's four different entrees, and we multiply that times the number of ways another event can occur, three choices of salad, and there's six different ways that you can have a beverage, and there's four different ways you can have a dessert. If you multiply this out, that's 288. Now, it's important to note that this is not a permutation or combination problem. And the reason is because for each of these events, we're picking from completely separate groups. There's no overlap in the groups that we're picking from. That's why this is not a permutation or combination problem. And that's also why there's no rearrangements here. If the entree is meatloaf, the salad is Caesar, the beverage is tea, and the dessert is pie, we are not counting if the Caesar salad comes first, then the meatloaf, then the tea, then the pie. No. We are not counting rearrangements here. Why not? Because there was no Caesar salad in the group that we picked from here in this first slot. There was no meatloaf in the group that we picked from here for the salads. That's the only time that rearrangements come into play in the case of permutations, combinations, when for the different slots, you're picking from either the same exact group or at least a group that's dynamically related to the previous group. In the sense that, well, you can't pick, if you've already picked one item here, well, then you're left with one less item to pick from here. 